Hello there, and welcome to a bit of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Today we're going to be looking at Honey Marsh and uh, seeing what awaits us. Before I continue, though, well, I'll say hello to my old viewers, um, particularly Gamer Brian, or should I say Ape School Gamer. Uh, nice to have you back on the channel. Uh, it's good to be back as well. Um, so, yeah, so today I'm going to be uh, hopefully doing a bit more than a single level. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this one isn't all that bad. But we shall see. I really should get some practice in before my film, but then I may end up saving up my progress and having to start all over again, which I don't really particularly fancy doing. So this level is obviously taken from... Uh... Ah, since that's a container. Okay, good to know. So this level is obviously taken from... Um... Sparrow, you're the dragonfly. Uh, yeah, Welcome yeah. to Honey Marsh, Spyro. Them rip-top critters have messed this here place up, but good. <laughs> Obviously trying to be Banjo-Kazooie and Whiplash and just about any other sort of good cop, bad cop routine. That's existing games. I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear? Okay. There's a whirly geek sounding up before. So it's not this. Must be over there then. But we'll deal with that later. Time being, let's get ourselves some gems. I'd, uh, I've just referenced uh, this game and my let's play in uh, in a VGR forum uh, response. To, uh, so if I'm uh, if I have any uh, viewers from that post watching this, uh, hello. Um, yeah, glad you've uh, stuck around this long at least. Um, you will come to know that I'm a Spyro fan. Uh, always have been, always will be. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, uh, to having more people watching this stuff, I guess. But yeah, it was uh, the, re the reference was to. Um, the, the, reference, the reason why I referenced this Let's Play was because I was talking about the constant complaints I have with vehicles in game, in, in my platforms. And, um, and it was for Spyro Fusion, which I doubt I'm going to play to completion. I, I really want to, but I've already done it once, and it was with the help of Safe Scumming. How anyone actually beats that game without the help of Safe Scumming, I don't know. You know, this surely can't, you know, killing all these bees surely can't be. These bees are antagonizing us, but we kind of need to call this honey. So I might play those games as a demonstration. Um, the topic was from, I think, the user Nightmare Farm, um, asking like what games are less than the sum of their parts. So in other words, the game sucks, but the ideas are good. You know, the like all the mechanics are great, all the music's great, all the you know the visuals are fantastic, but the game itself just isn't great. Um, It's weird, like, I, I, I was about to say, like, you know, I think D&D, 5th edition as a system is that, but... Um, I don't think it is. I think Pathfinder, maybe, is a game worth less than some of its parts. Like, if all those subclasses and all that stuff existed in D&D 5A, no problem. But, now, most, in fact, yeah, most D&D subclasses are worth less than some of their parts. A lot of those classes really should be, uh, Oh, 
Oh, it was. Speaking of D&D, I would love to do a let's play of, uh, of uh, Baldur's Gate, but there would be a lot of saves coming, a lot of wandering around with the quickies, the most optimal way of playing it up. Hitbox on that was kind of strange, but still. So still on honey, which is apparently fine. I do appreciate as well if I talk a bit too quietly at times. Um, I might have to work with this, so. But yeah, that was left on my phone. Uh, now, while I was actually looking for posts about uh, so info about um, um, Spyro hey, the Cortex Conspiracy, I actually came across uh, Spyro 4. Uh, it was like one of those Google suggestions, like, of, like when, when is it coming out? And apparently, a fan game is being made in the PlayStation 5 software, Dreams. So Dreams is like this sort of like game development game where you can make your own games. And apparently it's really extensive. Um, like there are the obvious problems of licensing. Uh, like at least Sega likes is all right with people. Like actually hires people to make fan games. Or rather not hires them, but rather hires the people making fan games. Um, that's really cool. Uh, Shunja doesn't lose any health. I don't think. Nope. Mm. No one. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So, there's going to be like this uh, Spire of Fall, like wing, Wings of Fury or something like that. Not as, quite as clever as like a hero's tale. Um, but yeah, it's going to be like it's like a fan game that's coming out in a few years. Like, like, I think this year or next, which is going to be pretty cool. I am not going to be buying a PS5 just to play it. Um, I'll probably just wait for Sony to release Dreams on PC. Because they might as well release their entire catalogue now that Spider Man's here, and Horizon Zero Dawn, and you know, uh, I think God of War as well as on PC. Um, so, like, I'm not saying that out of spite. I'm not. I mean, th th there is a bit of smugness to my to my tone in that. There used to be these articles of like, you know, why should you get a console? Oh, it's because they've got all these AAA games and must play. It's okay, but now they're all coming to PC. You know, all those people were saying Spider-Man's never coming to PC. It is, though. Yeah, it is. But no, honestly, no. It, 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 in all seriousness, though, I am glad it's coming. You know, I, I would certainly hope the Dreams comes to PC and we can play that Spyro game because uh, I, I want more people to play more games. You know, it's like I want people to enjoy. I want everyone to enjoy good games. And if this fan project is going to be good, there's quite a few ones. Um, like there was a there was someone asking for like voice actors on Spyro Fusion. And, uh, uh, and I wanted to volunteer to be a voice actor, but uh, unfortunately there wasn't any demand. Oh, so I'm going to go in here. I'll forget I've been here in here later, but still. Um, but yeah, like I really wanted to, to do that. I, I'd love to be a voice actor for a Spyro game. Um, yeah, like I would actually, I would buy better equipment to do that for a fan game, uh, free of charge. Welcome oh, to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. We're giving away a dragonfly to anyone who can shoot down all them at target. So is this in a timer or something? You think you're dragon enough to handle it? It's a blast! <laughs> Great! Make sure to shoot all the targets before your honeycomb boat gets to the end of the course, or you'll lose! Shoot all the tanks, bees, and grenade rip talks. Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. 
Well, almost nobody. So, the thing about this is, like, this was done in, uh... So this minigame was already done in, um... Or rather, it would be done in, uh, in A Hero's Tale. It would be like a, uh... And, as well, it's not just the game, it's the characters. So you'd have this Toad, probably by the name of Her, Her Kermit. And, uh, if I think, actually, I think his name was Kermit. Because it was Frog playing a banjo or whatever. Uh, like, offering... Um, like, rewards to take out targets. Uh, that being quite a common thing in uh, Hero's Tale. Again, on a cannon. Tell Stuart Copeland made this song at least. But I hit all those fucking targets. With a gun that like like the projectile speed is so slow and not to mention as well that the curse is not the most accurate thing. Nice if this thing had a bit of AoE. So I think what I need to do is I need to start ignoring the grenade where it talks and start making a move. So I hit them as I see them, so just get in front of them and shoot. Rather than take aim. I think it has a bit of auto aim, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that's what you say me about 30 seconds. Oh yeah, look at that, nice and easy. I can take a few more hits like that, that's not a problem. Oh, Christ, yeah. I just couldn't take it. Okay, so I need to move over towards the edge. So the gems probably aren't going to be the problem with this level, it's going to be the tank, isn't it? I mean, who am I kidding? Of course it's going to be both. Oh, Christ, I'm not. Okay, so... Nice of like when you destroyed the hive and fell on them or something like that. Nope, it's just regenerating them, I think. Nice 
this hot minute maybe I can survive this. Seriously tense. Hive if I can. Wish this fucking boat wouldn't be hurt me so much. Oof! Oh god damn it! Awesome oh, shooting sparrow! Oh, you that. sure you ain't my fiat cousin? Congratulations, you win the grand! Prize. Well, maybe not that grand, but hey, it's awful pretty. <laughs> hey, it's this. Well, we're all out of them dragonflies. Thank Christ for that. Oh. For fun. I have very strange ideas as to what fun is. I wonder if the D-pad would have worked, I might have actually had a bit of chance. Because that analogue stick, it just it's just way too floaty, it glides. Um, I don't mean the analogue stick itself, I mean the, the cursor. There's a lot of glide to it. Nope, nope, nope. I want precision. <laughs> Are these stalls up and running? Okay. You know what, guys? I've got to go back and kill them. I've got to know who these enemies are. Don't actually have. What well, this is frost. Oh, it can still harm. Me. That's brilliant. Stinger can still hurt. Me. I need to go back and get some fodder because I don't want the next. Yeah, I'm not going down there without fodder. Or health, rather. There's no satisfying... Oh, there, there it is. So... On enemies there's the... Sort of ice breaking effect, which sounds more like glass. But... Oh! There was a gem st I thought I saw a gem stuck down there. There was a gem stuck just under that beam. I don't know if you'll be able to catch it, but... Like really, why would you choose the ice breath over any other breath? Like I can just kill those enemies just as easily. Like it is. why did I need the ice breath for that? It's only really good if I want to change breath, for instance, to demonstrate the fact that better breath isn't better. Like that. Got just as good. Breath. Now you can tell me it's not useful, it's not used for combat. But the thing is, is that its applications outside of combat are nil. They just aren't that many. Okay, so we go on this way. Hey, it's Swamp! Um, like there needs to be some enemies that are actually resistant to it. I think there will be, like in the in the monkey monastery. This 
bees buzzing around and that means enemies. Wasn't this music from Honey Speedway in Spray 3? It was just like a modified version. I, I mean, I'm not against asset recycling. I mean, Christ, they've had, you know, Tom Kenny do, you know, the SpongeBob voice act to do all the voices here. Why is that at least firing anyway? Because I thought it was something that was like a water pistol. Oh, is that enemy? We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip tops have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. Well, if you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see Please. my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Oh. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seed. <laughs> yep, it ain't wrong. Oh. Oh, I died with the rock in my mouth as well. Oh, oh sorry, I mean I respawned with the rock in my mouth, I should say. How interesting. Right, I'll get those gems later because at least I know that that's a path. Oh, I still got one here, okay. Would you like to pick up a rock, Sparrow? Oh, I see, so I think I have a few in my mouth still. No, I don't. Anytime you want to, Sparrow. Anytime at all. I don't mind, it's just that one floating in the air there. So long to aim down sights, Christ, or aim down horns. Like, I, I genuinely don't know why I actually bothered giving this game a chance, because, like, I should have known, like, nostalgia is is going to be way too strong. Like, I wanted to bat for this game. Okay, fine, that, that's on me. I didn't realise how... how... in how many ways the game was fucked. You know, people say that, like, uh, of, like, Mauler's review of Dark Souls, that if, like, you take three hours to get your point across, then it's not a good review, but, like, how much time do I need to display all of the problems in this game? 
Because I need I'm gonna need a lot of time to cover every single thing on why it's so bad. Like like you'd think that like if you heard in a review the time to aim down horns is ridiculous. Like you'd you'd think that's just a stupid complaint, wouldn't you? Like, you wouldn't take the critics seriously if they just, if that was... Or like, um, what was it, like, Dark Souls 2, Too Much Water, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, with, with IGN. You'd, um... You'd shit your pants on how crazy a complaint that is. I mean, what game I wouldn't. Um... But my word, like, this stuff is... It, it just piles up. I don't believe it. You did it! Uh, it was no sweat. Don't talk about it. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. It looks just below Spire's horns. There's like a, a vein. There, I thought they've, they've really put some attention into detail there. Aren't they? but, uh, and you owe us one dragonfly. I sure not do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. Jesus, what a spider of such a dick, you know? My daddy always said, if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. And you just about the toughest little fella I know. Good luck to you. Uh, <laughs> that's why. That's why Spyro was such a dick. Because he's so, he, he's bullied by the uh, by the crocodile folk or alligator folk or whatever the hell they are. Jesus, let me go and attack out on you. Out of health. See, so the beginning of the level was really generous with it, and then we get to the part of the level where actually you can't find health to save your life, literally. Well, this is an appropriate death animation for once, that's good. Uh, so. Yeah, it's it's like the, the, the problems with this game. Getting back to like the whole aim down horns thing, it's like it's it, it the problems add up like on their own. They're not so bad. Isolated from the rest of the game, it's like you can ignore it. But it's like if you're already having a bad time with the game, which I am, then you're gonna be fucking miserable when you actually come to play it further. You know when you want to complete it. And bearing in mind, like, this isn't, like, it's not really the sort of game that you can just, like, pick up and put down, you know? It's, like, it, it's a collector film. And in this instance, it's a collector film with a whole fucking hell of a lot of levels. Hey, it's Gory. I don't get it either. I was facing the complete other, uh, direct, other direction, and I still got it. Let's do some of this ice breath seeing this, uh... It's n like you're never gonna see anyone use it as much. So, in fact, you'll never use it as much if you play the game yourself. So you might as well see it in great detail here. Yeah. Oh, we need a key, which we haven't got. I say uh, unique design though. Oh, there but yes, yeah, so when you take into account the levels that are far too large and the mini games that drive you up the wall and take too much time out of the game. And all the other stuff going on, it's it, it's too much to bear. I mean, it, it, it's it's a shame that the game runs the way it does. That stops the NPC from talking to us, that's good. Oh, almost, almost got him. Almost got him. 
last one from the corner. Just grab these last three gems here. We're all the way back here. Right, let's first of all go back. Let's actually see the, the level completion text. Text, what am I about? Fuck to find out, right. Point is, let's get a level completion for our level. We can go back and uh, do the other side. But yeah, the um, problems with the game you can easily ignore on their own, but when you actually get into the game itself. So. Anyway, so, and it's it's the game where you've actually got to do everything. You've got to spend a lot of time with it because if you don't, um, it's going to be miserable. You did it! You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fellow. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, it's Taka. Well, I was gonna keep that dragonfly as a pet, but them critters are just more troubles in their war. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, it gives me the creep. Yeah, tell me about it. What the hell voice was that? Yeah, so like, like it's a, it, uh, so Enter the Dragonfly is a collector fun. You don't really have much choice but to spend time with it. Um, Oh. Oh. Go back. I'm not. I'm not dying to this. No, so I'm not losing lives to that. I'm not wasting any more time as necessary. Hello. What's down there? I wonder. Looks like a bit of uh, misty marsh from Sparrow One. Jesus Christ, give me some fodder. Give me some fodder soon, I need it. Just one hit, man. But I'm like, whatever. Druggies say. <sighs> Fucking bomb disposal. Yes, I did just compare that to the heroic deeds of bomb disposal. Yeah, look at this cool idea that someone came up with of having to go back and forth and fucking zigzag because there's not enough health distribution. Right, well it's rather boring that I haven't got all the gyms yet. Oh I know why. Because we haven't we haven't finished the level yet. I need to go back and do that bit with the uh, bumblebees. Oh, of course there's gems hidden under the steps as well. Because, you know, that's what you really want in, in your collectathon. That instead of having fun, you're asking about with the level. Yes, thank you. Let's do this bit first. I imagine this is going to be a speedway, because why wouldn't it be? We haven't had one of those on the honey level yet, have we? You know something, we're missing the key as well. 
Sparrow, that darn BS, one of the dragonflies. Can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? But be careful, he, he's got a stinger that would whip my bad back right into shape. Okay. Oh, I see. It's a slide. You know, the best part about Spyro 3. Am I supposed to beat him at the race, or am I supposed to chase him? Oh, I'm going faster than he is, so... Uh... But the keys are there, actually. Music's really good, I have to say. It might even be like my favourite track from the, big, the game so far. Oh, that little ting ting as well. That was always like the crescendo for me, uh, the Spyro soundtrack. You know what? This isn't too bad. It's not great, but. Feels alright, feels smooth. Honestly, I would not mind if there was another level like this. I think there is a monkey on a string. God, it's like... Should Honey be this... slick? some speed runs for this shit. This needs a competitive scene of its own. So what am I doing here? I can't charge. Can't jump, can't flame, can't do it. Oh. That's why for me to get back. Too bad, Spyro. What? To be managed to get away. Chief. Piss off. How am I supposed to do that? Right, so that didn't work. You know what, this is funny enough that I'm going to do it again. From the beginning. Probably not very fun to watch, mind, but still. But I don't understand what I'm supposed to, like, I can't leap onto him. I just go straight through him. Or over him. Um, Maybe there was something I'm missing. But there's no mechanics I can see. Like, it's not like there's any rockets that I have to fire or any nets that I have to learn into it. Like Flame can't charge, so... So what am I really supposed to do?
Right, what's going on here? Go top this guy. Alright, now, what's going on? I can see him coming down now, so... Can't jump, so can't reach him there. So, sorry, what am I supposed to... Oh dear, um... Just heard from my DM, they had to cancel Sunday's game due to a medical emergency. Here's hoping everything's alright. Um... Spyro, enter, dragon... Dragfly, bee chase. What the fucking hell are you doing? There is a slider monkey monastery. Hey! So hang on a second, so according to Dark Spyro, thank you ever so much for the wiki, um... All you gotta do is make it to the bottom. Let me check this out, this out. Cause my flame breath is- oh hang on! Do I need the flame breath equipped? Is that why it's not working? If I had the wrong breath equipped all along, was that the reason? <sighs> Let's have a look. I want to know why it's not working properly. See, this couldn't be simple, could it? It couldn't be a matter of, oh, you just got to get to the bottom. Yeah, okay. Just to be down slightly, actually. Yeah, sure. Right, so I can't use my flame breath, so... Uh, 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 selecting. Why am I clicking select? I don't know what's going Okay, so I can't flame breath. Even though we know I've got it equipped. Uh, I don't know, maybe it was just a bug where. No pun intended. Where, uh. That wasn't... The victory condition wasn't triggering properly. So leaving him, you know, going back in. Maybe that's done it. to think what what the problem is because like, I can't actually catch the bee. It won't let me leap onto it. Can't flame breath. Oh we went for this then I'm gonna have a look. Too bad, Spyro. The game managed to get 
fuck is going on? Hang on a second. Uh, finding page. So, what? Jeez. No, I won't. Hang on a second. Right, let's go out and in again to see if he comes up with any instructions. Because otherwise I can't think of anything else. Hello, Reddit to the rescue. There's a bug. Going for 100% are we? Yeah, same here. It doesn't do much to the game compared to Dolphin. If just... So... Okay. So, apparently, what we've got to do is we've got to keep tapping triangle. So, the Y button on my controller. Just to prompt a chat or something like that. But yeah, apparently the PS2 version is the buggiest of them all, and things like this don't work properly. This is going to be another one of those episodes where I, I, it's going to take me longer than I want. It, where I'm only going to have to do one level at a time. I'm so, I no, I'm not going to apologise for this. I'm not going to apologise for the game's fault. I, I was going to apologise for wasting so much time, but how do I speed this up when the game just doesn't work? I'm gonna, I, you know, I'll take the blame for the previous ones for not being able to find gems, for not being able to control vehicles adequately, you know, all that kind of thing. Fine, that's on me because I didn't find the gems. They were in stupid places, but you know what, for the sake of this, it, it, if I have to apologise for those, I will. But this one, I, I, there's nothing to apologise for other than the fact that the game's a fucking shit performance. It, it, it just, just doesn't work. Like, and I, and I keep feeling like I have to say this, like, the game itself is good, the technical aspects are poor. Like the slide, I love this slide. I love the level design. I, I like the idea of chasing a bee down the fucking slide because I'm a simpleton. Oh Christ, forget that. Right, start again. But this is taking the piss. How, how long is it taking me now to do this one bit of the game? And I've got to do and I might have to do this again off camera, just so I can get the 100% completion and show you the whatever content comes next. I really can't lose much more time, because the more time I lose, the less time I have to tap try. At least this slide feels much better than the one in Spyro 3, where you don't feel like you're fully connected to it, and you sort of like wobble a bit, almost like you're in a, 
I was about to say a ball, but I don't want to be reminded of uh, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, lots and lots of momentum, I'm only to lose it at the last second. I tap triangle like a mother. solution for this thing. So the only way that we're really going to do this is by playing on Dolphin with lots of things, another emulator. Okay, right, uh, three. Oh shit, that's safe here. Christ, no, don't start the fucking thing again. No, for God's sakes. Realize this probably isn't the most interesting thing to look at me looking at a walkthrough of a game. Okay. So apparently, we're going to talk to the guy from face it backwards. And I need to do this run pretty well because if I don't, I need to. I, I, I need to oh Christ. I, I need I lose time and I need more time to talk to him. So apparently, I need to talk to him facing backwards or something. I don't know if I face his back or if I face him back to him. I don't know. These are the things we do to make a game work. I, I, I can't say I would forgive this in any other sort of game, this being a collectathon, but it's particularly bad here. Like, if it's in the game, it's in the review. That's, that's always been my philosophy. Um, at least for as long as I can remember, but... Um, Jesus Christ. This is... Uh, this is bad. Like, this is... There, there's simply no other way to put it than it, it's, it's, it's... dire. It's cack. Of the highest order. Of the lowest order, perhaps. I'm undecided whether it's the highest or lowest order. I, I genuinely thought, like, you know what, this level is pretty straightforward, it's just getting those gems. The level design, I don't remember being that bad. And it isn't. But this, this one glitch, has made sure that I only spend this amount of time in the game. And it's unfair on you guys, most of all. 
I don't mind playing the game at all, I've got patience for it, it's just that I'm filming it and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, my viewers are going to hate this. And my long-suffering darling dearest Larissa, she's <laughs> probably watching this thinking, Jesus Christ. He made these just for me, did he? Fuck. Right, apparently that's supposed to work. Go behind him. Ask to ask, maybe I had a minute. So it looks as though I am having to do this in another emulator. Now, okay, so I'm on the P I'm on the emulator forums. Let's have a look. Um, Playing around with the BIOS is supposed to help. Right, I'll try that off camera then. I'm not going to stop, I'm going to finish up the level and then uh, come back to this. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this in, in fact now. I'll, I'll film that. In the meantime though, let's get the gems and go elsewhere. Um, it's probably going to be a shorter episode unless we have trouble finding that key, which we probably will. Better bring up the walkthrough for that, just so I don't waste any time. Um, so... Spyro, Dragonfly, um, Honey, Key. Right, we'll come back to that later, but I want to try and wrap this level up as quickly as I can. Um, bearing in mind this is one of my let's plays, so it'll probably take about like, nearly two hours. Gather up the gems. I feel like I'm the only Let's Play who actually looks at walkthroughs like, for such trivial things. In my defense, hey, it's Gory. I've now encountered a book that prevents me from making progress uh, in this level. I like actually the game. And that for me is game breaking, but that's, uh, I know that's like a, a very little use of the word game, uh, the phrase or term game breaking. Uh, but no, if I can't 100% completely collect the phone, as far as I'm concerned the game is broken. 
that's what it's there for, you know. So, we've got to destroy these uh, nests. Mm -hmm. oh. Pointless really, because he's only going to respawn. Mm -hmm. For all the shit I give, like. Tyler does my entire remaster on Steam. Because, like, it remasters the game too well. Like, you know when uh, Silent Hill was remastered on PS2? And how well that went? Or how bad it went? That's sort of what I mean about uh, by the performance problems with uh, this. In fact, no, no, because as uh, that game performs a bit too well for its purposes, this does not perform well enough, considering the hardware that it uses. Loaded the save. Oh, I was meant to save it and I loaded it. Well, I don't think I've got anything more insightful to say, so. Oh, there's a gem there I missed. How many gems am I missing down here? So, yeah, if, if you guys want to get off, I'm going to try and figure this out. Um, I might have one more part of this out before the holiday. Um, yeah, one, I would like to get the game complete before the holiday, but I need to get some stuff sorted here. I'm probably going to have to play this on another emulator, so I might have to play the GameCube version. Um, um, yeah. Not much else to say on that, really. Yeah, like, I wish I could get this game to work, but... There simply isn't enough here that I can work with to to help run any better. Stay. I don't even dare look back at my old review of this just to see if it actually lines up. Because I've got a feeling that I would be way too positive about it. Or would have been way too positive about this.
Let's have a look. Is there a K down here? Yeah, maybe. Where the hell would that K be? It wouldn't happen to be in another level, would it? Because I'm thinking like it's it's gonna be a thieves' den, right? It's very unusual for Spyro, but not out of the realms of possibility. I mean, it's not like. It's not like a Spyro game has had back has not had backtracking before, and it's not like uh, this game is inconsistent with its sort of rules and innovations. So, like a key to a chest in this level being in another level is not beyond the realm of possibility. It's probably up there. Actually. Down here, maybe. Maybe the key died with him, who knows. No, it'll be at the end of the level, won't it? I need to look around this level thoroughly, though. I have to know. of those gems are in that chest. is going to be up here, isn't it? Hidden away. Oh, there it is. So that's the end of the beginning of the level, so... Well, you'd have to be like, if it was at the beginning of the level, that would be right at the beginning, like, over here. I like the design of it as well. Really nice. But now I've got to spend a bit more time. Well, no, actually, no, we'll come back here. It's actually better going this way as well because I've the exits over there and this is my need is over to the uh, west there. I have never had to be so careful on a platform. Yeah, I don't know why. Hey, 
Hey, it's Gory! I, I'm not joking, I... Like... The very pedestrian movements that I make are... Unbelievable. Totally uncharacteristic and smart. Ice breath seems like a wider of this. Please tell me this is it, please tell me this is it. For Christ's sake, stick it to Oh, for God's sake, this is a fucking dragonfly. Hey, it's Tim! See, so you know what that means? We're still missing. Hey, Jim. Anyway, that's gonna be done here. It's gonna be stuck under a beam. In a beam. It's gonna be stuck up someone's ass. I don't know. But it's gonna be stuck somewhere. It's gonna be overlooked like a little crack here, like that, a little step. Somewhere that only Sparks is gonna be able to get to. Like, I, I am now having to check every single corner, and that's actually going to bring us up. I'll probably find this gem in time for the video to end. Where at least I usually have the satisfaction of completing a level. Well, not today. I have the s s satisfaction of completing zero levels today. Because I haven't found the gem. Uh, I haven't. I'm not able to get the dragonfly that I need. Oh, Christ. Ouch. <sighs> Missing a gem and a dragonfly. Might as well. Can't think of anywhere else to go. At least we know what to look for. It's going to be a distinct red glimmer. Saw it there. And the honey. Apparently, I didn't. That could help me. Can't find an extra life behind some vague cover, then how the hell am I meant to find it? Fuck. 
final remaining gem. I hope no one has ever asked the question, what's the fun of Spyro, or what's the feel of Spyro, and being shown this game, or asked that when they look at this game. When I say now, there is nothing appealing about this, like, I'm a, I'm a collector fan, fan, as much a collector fan as the next person. Um, This, Jesus Christ. I would hope no one ever has this as the answer. I really want people to have a good first impression of the game. Christ. You know, I spent all that time doing this. And what's the conclusion I've reached? Play the game on Dolphin. So, I've got to do all this all over again. In another version of the game, another emulator. Instead of playing Paladins, Frostpunk, City Skylines, Hold Fast, Nations at War, I'm going to be playing this on GameCube. I think from now on. And it's a shame as well, because the emulator's treated me well. The emulator, like, PCSXE, um, is a great emulator. It, it, it runs phenomenally well. Um, but there is that problem of, like, is it the game, or is it the emulator? And I really want to say it's the emulator. I really want to defend this game and say it's the emulator. But I can't lie to people and say this is fine because it is. It's bollocks. Um. Nothing happening yet. Nope, nothing yet. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to come out of this, I'm going to try that mission again, off camera, if it works, fine, I'll let you know the next episode if I remember. If it doesn't, I guess I'll see you on the GameCube version. It may look different, run more differently, I appreciate that there will be problems with that transition. If it is on GameCube, I must disclose that, or at least I want to make a point of disclosing that. Yeah. I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. Sixty-five dragonflies. We might yet see this level after all. Yeah, for the time being, though, uh, it's going to be Thieves' Den that we go to next. So, that is it for me. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care. And, uh, yeah, I apologise that it's taken so long to try and get that one bit of level done. I didn't realise that the game would break there, though, so uh, I'm going to give it a go myself. I'm going to turn off the emulator, turn it on again, see if it works. If it doesn't, well, it's been nice playing the game thus far. I'll see if I can get it working on Dolphin, but that does then mean I need to spend more time completing the game there. 
the gameplay may also be in 30 FPS as well, which I think I'm recording in 30 FPS anyway, so it doesn't matter. Whatever the point is, like, fingers crossed it works. If it doesn't, oh well. I'm going to continue playing the game for as long as I can, though, and, you know, I, like, this isn't going to stop me from playing the game. If it doesn't work on Dolphin either, I'll continue playing on here, but we're going to be missing one Dragonfly, uh, and hopefully that won't affect our uh, end game progress whatsoever. So, thank you for so much for watching, take care, good afternoon.